morning, everyone. I'm Drew Smith. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, suspended officer David Bazard remains jailed after his latest trouble with the law. Lawrence police arrested Bazard for DUI after he crashed his pickup truck Saturday afternoon. We have new developments in this case. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet joining us now live with the very latest. Chris? And Drew Bassard makes his first court appearance on this latest charge on Wednesday. As you had mentioned, he remains jailed tonight while prosecutors will move to have his bond revoked in his most serious case. The suspended IMPD officer's latest troubles came on Saturday after he crashed his pickup truck in Lawrence, striking a pole, a guardrail, and speed limit sign. Lawrence police responding to the accident administered a portable breathalyzer test, allegedly showing that Bassard was more than twice over the legal limit to drive. Bassard's bond in his new case is set at $25,000. However, the Marion County prosecutor has asked for no bond in the case, a request now taken under advisement by a Marion County court. Bassard already faces charges from a 2010 alcohol-related crash that killed motorcyclist Eric Wells and injured two others. That case is set for trial in October. On Sunday, prosecutors say they'll ask on Monday that Bassard's bond in that case be revoked. Bruce Kehoe is the attorney for Kurt Weekly, who was seriously injured when Bassard's police cruiser struck the group of motorcyclists. Don't you have to say, thank the Lord that there wasn't another life that was lost or, or other serious injuries and lives turned upside down uh, like Kurt's? According to the police report, Bassard told Lawrence police officers at the scene on Saturday that he'd been drinking a couple of hours. Then he asked the officers to, quote, cut me a break. I promise never to drink again. Bassard continued to plead with officers, saying that if he goes to jail, his life will be over. Bassard was arrested, handcuffed, and taken to Wishard Hospital for a blood draw to determine his blood alcohol content. And Weekly's attorney, attorney questions tonight why Bassard even has an Indiana driver's license after his arrest in 2010. Reporting live downtown, Chris Profit, RTV6. Thanks, Chris. And for all the latest on the Bassard case, stay with RTV6, theindychannel.com, and your RTV6 app on your mobile device.